I feel that there was a moment where I had the call to come back to my country, to Morocco, uh, and just to give back, uh, to share a little bit of what I had uh, earned, uh, to invest back in my country. Uh, I have to say that it wasn't a super easy decision because uh, even though I grew up in a rather privileged environment in Morocco, I also understood that I was kind of a minority. Being a woman in the Arab world, in Africa, uh, is not that easy. And uh, living in Europe is way more easy in so many ways to fully embrace your potential, your talent. Or so I was thought of, of thinking this way. Yeah, there were many challenges. I suppose there were challenges just for setting up a business in Morocco as an entrepreneur and not even talking about female entrepreneur. So I feel like uh, uh, the public institutions could do a better job in uh, attracting uh, people that really want to invest in this country and retaining them, making it easy. Uh, it, was an, <laughs> it was quite a struggle to just uh, change my appointment, to set up my company, have my papers on time to go to France, sign my franchise contract, things like this that shouldn't be a problem.